Hello everyone, and I'm Lydia, and I will be reading your story for today. Now, I am joined with Ormond, as usual, and a special guest, so I hope you can see who that is. Now, our story that we will be reading today is called The Man Who Didn't Have Any Friends, None. Now, if you're ready, nice tucked in, and you're all comfy in your bed or your pyjamas, I've got my dressing gown on, so I'll start. There was once a man who didn't have any friends. None. Well, do you have any friends? Well, of course you do. But not Zacchaeus. Poor Zacchaeus didn't have any. You're probably wondering why. Was it because he was so short? That's not a reason not to like someone. Was it because he had a name that was so hard to say? Well, neither is that. Even though he was short and he did have a funny name, that wasn't it. No, people didn't like Zacchaeus because he stole their money. Zacchaeus collected taxes. Taxes were what the people had to pay to the king. But Zacchaeus took more than what he was supposed to. And he he took the extra money and kept it for himself. And he made himself rich. Everyone knew what he was up to. And it made them cross and grumpy. They didn't like Zacchaeus one bit. So they made sure he knew it by doing things like avoiding him or walking on the opposite of the side of the road and pretending not to see him and whispering things like, there's that nobody who thinks he's somebody. Loud enough so he could hear it. Anyway, one day a huge crowd gathered by the road. Jesus was coming to town everyone wanted to see him Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too but everyone was too tall he tried jumping up and down but that didn't work he couldn't see a thing luckily Zacchaeus had a good idea I'll climb up that sycamore tree he said so he did he was surprisingly good at climbing a tree for a man who was so unusually short he had to take a flying leap just to get in his chair in the morning From the trees, Zacchaeus had a perfect view all the way down the road. Another minute, he suddenly saw Jesus was at the tree. He stopped and looked up. Zacchaeus saw Jesus, and Jesus saw Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, Jesus said, I'd like to come to your house. Zacchaeus almost fell out the tree. Come to his house? No one ever wanted to come anywhere near his house, let alone inside it. The people saw this, and needless to say it, it made them even crosser and grumpier than usual. They mumbled and murmured and muttered, Why is Jesus being so kind to that big sinner? Doesn't Jesus know about him? Zacchaeus Zacchaeus scrambled down and looked at Jesus and took him down to his house. He was in a hurry because he did not want Jesus to change his mind. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him. Perhaps Jesus hadn't heard about him and how he had been stealing and how no one liked him and how he didn't have any friends. But Jesus knew. He knew it all. He knew everything about Zacchaeus and his stealing and everything. And he still loved him. Zacchaeus was ashamed. Lord, he said, turning pale. What I have done is wrong. But now I want to do the right thing. I will give the money back to everyone. Four times what I stole. And that's just what he did. Jesus smiled. My friend, he said, today you have been saved. Jesus loved Zacchaeus when nobody else did. He was Zacchaeus' friend even when no one else was. Because Jesus was showing people what God's love was like. His wonderful, never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. Well, that was our story for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I think Allman did, and I think our friend did as well, up in the tree, Mr Sloth. So good night from all of us. So hope you have a nice rest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>